good morning students uh, today we will be taking another topic from process intensification today we will be taking an equipment okay so whenever we are talking about process intensification we already know that process intensification is related to increasing the efficiency increasing the safety increasing the quality of the product apne je process ke je pan equipment use kare chhe ini efficiency kari ne increase kari sake ila safety parameters the product ni quality ke improve kari sake these are the main focus of process intensification today we would be looking into one such uh, you can say hybrid और इनोवेटिव इक्विपमेंट नवी वस्तु What is the reason for this new equipment? A new equipment used for us. Whenever we go for something new, you have to change. The existing was too changed. We have to change it. So because of the inherent inertial force, कोई पर उसको whenever we talk of change, we are reluctant. कोई पर उसको change करना हो तो कहीं आप we are reluctant. Why this change is required? Okay. So why this particular change is required? We will be taking directly in terms of an example. Polymerization reaction. Idea is a polymerization reaction. What do we mean by polymerization? Monomer is a single unit. You combine many such. Many means it's not one, two, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred. Lakhs and lakhs of units. You bind together by a reaction, which is known as polymerization. The product is known as a polymer. So monomer means one, and polymer means many. Okay. So for polymerization reaction, it is one of the most difficult reactions in the industry. What happens is in this reaction, gradually you add the raw materials, and then as you are carrying out the reaction, the reaction mass becomes very thick. The reaction mass will be more thick than you, so it's very difficult for you to use the agitator to stir and continuously keep on mixing your reactants. So, uh, as far as uh, industry, not specifically uh, chemical industry, but Might be this uh, plastic industry, plastic engineering. All these people they are concerned mostly with this because it's very difficult. You can imagine a paste which is very viscous and the tomato continuously mix it around. And also you need to remove some volatile components because polymerization means after some time you need to remove the rest of the polymer so that adequate thickness are there and the uh, particular polymer is made. Okay, so this is one of the most difficult reactions. Now what happens? in this polymerization reaction you need to remove some of the uh, volatile components as i said among components na bare remove karu but with a conventional reactor that we are having it is very difficult to remove that particular compound because the mass is very much viscous now the concept of this uh, spinning disc contactor or you can say spinning disc reactor is suppose it is based basically on the concept of centrifugal force i hope most of you guys know what is centrifugal force whenever any body is revolving it uh, experiences an external or outward force which is given by center which is away from the center and is given by mv square by r centrifugal force koi par vastu jara tum revolve karo cha it tends to go out and koi par point upar its direction is tangential okay so based on this particular force this particular action this equipment or this reactor is present now what is actually being done tumhare paas ek reactor hai this particular reactor is the inlet of this reactor is now this is a general schematic representation of a spinning disk reactor okay if you can see this is a cylindrical structure ek cylinder jaisa structure hai okay in that you are having generally the one component and the reactor in the jere agitator are heavy thickness here you are having the inlet for the liquid this is a rotating disk and based on this this equipment gets its name rotating disk reactor what happens is 
the liquid comes inside this disc. The disc is rotating at a very high speed. Go high speed, but it is rotating correct. And on the sides, it is having slots. So obviously, because of the centrifugal action, all the liquid in this would be thrust or would be thrown towards the walls. The speed of this disc is so fast that the film that would be formed here, the film form, does it? It would be very thin. Go now, and if the fine layer of liquid would be formed here. So now, what will happen? We need to understand this in terms of heat transfer as well as mass transfer. For heat transfer or mass transfer, uh, the boundary layer or the film is very important. The place where the liquid and the gas, here the gas, we are assuming that it's a liquid and gas reaction. Suppose we are having a reaction where there is a liquid and gas contact. So the interface, this particular pink line is the place where the liquid and gas are coming in. Contact. So just imagine a situation that if I am having liquid in this much portion and gas in this much portion, the reaction is actually happening at only one place, this interface, right? So this particular entire mass is unused. This mass is unused. Correct? Why we are agitating is because of this. Agitation is just to ensure proper mixing. But the example in which we are talking about polymerization reaction, the viscosity is so high that these two reactants generally do not mix easily. And that is the reason why we are trying to study this. So now, if I say the thickness of this liquid is just this much, right? So it means there is a very good Utilization of the liquid that is available. Jet two liquid is there. You know, both are contact with each other because immediately this liquid is going to go down. It will come here, collide on the walls, and gradually it will come down. By the time it reaches from here to here, it is in continuous contact with the gas. The reaction is happening, and as soon as the reaction ends, normally this will go down. This design is in such a way that whatever is the amount of time required. जितनो टाइम लागे लिक्विड ने गैस ने रिएक्ट करा होगा तो बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी डिजाइन दिस कि जब उस लिक्विड को ना रिस्पोंसिटिव करो ना बेस्ड ऑन द ग्रेविटी इट्स फॉलिंग डाउन इट विल टेक माइट बी सपोज से फाइव सेकंड्स और सपोज से टेन सेकंड्स तो द हाइट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सिलेंडर कैन बी डिजाइन इन दैट वे सो दैट बाय द टाइम इट रीचेस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट्स टेन सेकंड एंड द लिक्विड एंड गैस कैन रिएक्ट इन गिव द प्रोडक्ट ओके सो दिस इज द रोटेटिंग दिस दिस इज द लिक्विड फिल्म This is the gas phase. So I hope you understand why I have drawn the film on both the sides because it's a cylinder. Cylinders I have shown you the cross-sectional view. Okay. The same thing you can understand for a normal situation of heat transfer also. Heat transfer in the world you require maximum or best possible contact. But when you are using this thing, normally the one which I use for when you are using a, a cylinder might be the contact. Or the surface area between the liquid or the heating medium or cooling medium and the fluid, process fluid, is relatively very less. But in this case, because it is discharging the liquid into a very thin film, वो पतला फिल्म के अंदर आने में बहुत करेज है, and the contact time is also relatively less. As a result of which, very good heat transfer will also happen. This is also applicable for pharmaceutical industries. Why? Because pharmaceutical industries ke under suppose the reactions are highly exothermic, you need to ensure that the product do not get thermally degraded. Product the more thermally degraded, no thing, right? Because uh, vitamin C, suppose protein, some particular active pharmaceutical ingredient, anything. If you are having in that case, I mean, if other times we get up, you know, you expose it to heat for a higher, higher time, more time. In that case, it will degrade. But here, as we have already seen. As soon as it comes in contact, within maybe like fraction of some seconds, it will come out of the reactor. So, the matter product will thermal degradation or not. So, these are some of the inherent advantages of spinning this reactor. Okay. So, you saw. Now, in this case, what will happen? The reactants, the reactants that we are talking about in terms of polymerization, it will be thrown to the sides of the wall. 
it will undergo the reaction, it will come in contact with the gas, it will go down and some volatile components, if they are to be removed, they can be taken out from another component also. Okay, this is how it is different from the conventional normal reactor, reactor agitator system that we are using. Okay.